what we're doing. You totally cycled in. Good I, morning. I'll do the examiner in the mail, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, we normally do that off air, but there you go. Uh, lads, wet. That's pretty much the day. It's already started to kind of get pissy this morning. I don't think it's going to get prolonged and heavy at any point today. Maybe a little bit, but generally it's just going to be kind of just showers across the day. Um, and to be fair, I think we were due it anyway, but uh, yeah, it's wet. No cold there again. It's about 17 degrees outside now. And we'll see highs again of 18 or 19 in places, but uh, yeah, wet. Um, some of the big stories in our papers today. Well, I think one of the big stories that everybody's talking about is Love Island, but we'll talk about that in a few moments. First, in the Irish Independent today, Maria Bailey back in the news uh, today. Swingate rumbles on. Maria Bailey now facing growing calls from within Fine Gael not to run in the next general election. Fine Gael TD Fergus O'Dowd broke ranks yesterday uh, to say that uh, he thinks that she should not run in the next election following Swingate. So that's a big story in the Irish Independent today. And Boris Johnson snubs Leo Varadkar as UK ups ante on standoff over Brexit backstop. So as far as I know, the governments have been in touch with each other, but Boris and Leo have yet to actually speak to each other. Yeah, well, they're playing the waiting game. He can ring me. No, no, he can ring it's me. Ridiculous. I'm not ringing him. It's ridiculous. Crack, yeah. So that's also in today's Irish Independent. Uh, the examiner on the front page says Facebook workers to sue over graphic content. Facebook moderators who claim their mental and physical health has suffered because of the graphic content that they've had to view as part of their work Gosh. are to take personal injury claims against the social media giant through the Irish courts. That's on the front page there. What a horrible job. Oh, yeah. And because and th- it's, it's, it's essentially their job to decide whether or not it's graphic enough or too sorry not graphic enough or too graphic for yeah the, the, the platform some of the stuff they have to watch it's oh, like sick yeah uh, farmer hatches hen credible plan uh, in the depths of grief it was a plan hatched in the depths of grief but there were scenes of joy yesterday when farmer John Dolan finally laid eyes on his record breaking hen that has uh, uh, that sorry who's been stuffed for posterity uh, that's on the front page there. there's a picture of him in. Uh, I think he's from County Offaly on the front page mm. of the Irish Examiner there this morning uh, also in the Irish Mirror today uh, the um, crime the gang warfare or what, what's, what's it called? Gangland Gangland thank you uh, that's on the front page of the Irish Mirror today um, two Kinahan hit teams uh, which came within moments of assassinating Hutch rivals were caged yesterday uh, and it also says in this article that Gardaí have thwarted 64 murder bids in just four years uh, in this entire uh, debacle. So that's in the Irish Mirror and Love Island. We mentioned it a couple of moments ago. Everybody's talking about this on Twitter this morning. And uh, the big news is that an Irish guy won Love Island. Greg, who went into Love Island about two minutes ago, won last night. He's only there about a week and a half, is he? About two weeks. Is he? Himself and Amber, who I haven't heard of till now. Um, So he's a rugby player from Limerick and she's a Geordie beauty therapist. And they beat Tommy and Molly May and they won 50 grand for themselves. So that's uh, a lot of people talking about that, as you would expect online. And it's in the Irish Mirror as well. Yeah, the Irish Daily Mail pick up on it as well. It says uh, Lingford. It says Limerick edges out Longford in Long... Oh, God. Limerick edges out Longford in Love Island final. A picture of Maura and Greg on the front page there. Um, so what yeah. happened to Maura? I kind of thought she was the favourite, no? No, Tommy and Molly okay. May were the favourite. So it was a big shock for the Greg and Amber to win it. But uh, Maura and Curtis, there's a lot of like, you know, are they genuine going on? Like yeah, it's yeah. Pure, are they playing a game kind of thing? So. And he's the Tommy Fury lad, yeah? He's Tommy Fury, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, like... They were a grand couple and like they're, they're an actual boyfriend and girlfriend and they're madly in love, but it became too Wait, much. I'm no, like, sorry now, but they're a boyfriend and girlfriend since they met on the show. Yes. Yeah, so they, they didn't go into it together or anything. No, no. no so okay. they, they met two months ago and they're they're officially gone out now. But it's okay. um, Can you be in love after two months? Yeah, well, on Love Island you can. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> on the island of, of Majorca. <laughs> um, they, on a serious note, the mail also leads with the story, Toddler Tied to Chair in RTE Crash Film gets 35 grand awards. The young girl who was featured in the um, RTE Investigates programme last week uh, has been uh, awarded 35,000 euro in compensation. She was, obviously her face was burnt out, but she was uh, filmed tied to a chair, which oh my God. You, know, you can't do. Uh, some of the top trends this morning. Love Island is the, the top trend, as you would expect, after Amber and Greg won the money. Uh, Maria Bailey just mentioned that story as well in the papers today. A lot of people talking about that and how she's being urged not to run in the next general election as well. A lot about that on Twitter this morning. Uh, the Galway races are on the day two. That's also trending. Uh, I saw some pictures of the, the style from Galway yesterday. So they're into a, a wet Galway today, I'd say. Five key questions is also trending. I thought, okay, this is kind of cool, but it turns out it's actually just, it's to do with an open letter from Man United fans to the Glazier family. So 
I, I'm a Man United fan. I don't really care, to be honest, but uh, five key questions is <laughs> and, trending this And neither morning. do the Glacier family. Neither do, yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, um, okay, so there's loads going on in the show today. We've got lots of good music, as you would expect, and we've got uh, Who's for Breakfast, which today will be worth 160 quid. Uh, we've had loads of guesses so far, a lot of them GA-related, Cork-related. Uh, so we'll play that mystery voice for you in uh, both hours of the show this morning and give you a chance to win that cash for yourself. We've also got tickets for the uh, Abbey Dorney Vintage Society weekend, which is taking place as well so details of that are coming up on the show this morning and do you take sugar in your tea no I know you don't no you, you drink it black but uh, apparently sugar is completely unnecessary in your tea so if you're somebody who does maybe take a spoon or two uh, don't because it's unnecessary my dad takes two spoons I take two spoons when I drink tea I don't really drink it that often uh, it's a lot you see I always mm. think because I have a sweet tooth anyway and I love it's nothing to do with that I love sugar but like if you drink a lot of tea, I mean, at the end of the day, you might as well have had a Snickers or something. Or Yeah, I don't, I don't drink a lot of tea, thankfully. So it, like I, if someone, I, it, I, I used to drink about 10 cups of tea a day. So yeah. imagine if I drank two spoons of sugar and that, 20 spoons of sugar every day. Yeah. Now I do, I do have three cups of coffee a day and I have one sugar in each of those. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, as a non-tea drinker, really, um, I don't really get tea. But uh, yeah, if you, do, if, you do, if you are a tea drinker, like I know most people are, uh, sugar they're telling us now is completely unnecessary and I'm bad apart from on the show because Andrew and I love our coffee in the morning so we have both we have two cups during the show usually mm -hmm. don't we yeah. um, I'm back on the tea big styly are you yeah and about the past six months I'm back into tea now I still love the coffee in the morning with you but after that when I go home now it's tea really yeah. the old Nespresso machine isn't used that much these days yeah I, I, I probably do you know what I, it's normally three for me I, two during the show and then we have mm. one during the coffee break on the 11 to 1 club with Francis and uh, to be honest with you unless I'm going training and I'm kind of knackered mm -hmm. I won't really have any more after yeah, that yeah okay Yeah, so that's kind of my routine anyway. Um, yeah. you can chat to us today here you can leave a message or you can get in touch with us by texting or whatsapping the show don't forget you, you can send us a voice note as well on whatsapp if you'd like to do that our number 083 300 3300 yeah enjoy your day have a good Tuesday it's a wet one and uh, yeah good talk luck. to you soon guys bye bye see you later good luck